Okay, so it's now Saturday the 18th of August and we're about to do day two of our recce of the Dragon's Back. What's our plan for today, Andy? <laughs> well, John, uh, we're going to um, park in Nantgwynant where we finished last time. Um, and the first bit of the route is up and over Connect, which is a, a longish climb and a bit of a dip down after Connect and then over the Molewind. After the Molewinds, we drop down to the railway line, the first in the old railway, and we follow that um, sort of alongside it and nearby it for quite a way down to my last bit of our day is uh, from the south end of Trans Transfinite Lake. Um, along the northern bit of the mole, of the Rinnor Bridge um, and it'll be a couple of hours of quite tough going to finish the day and we, we're finishing the day where we've just left your car which is just um, to the east of the Roman steps on the on the Rinox. so um, it's it's not as much climbing as the, uh, the, the day one that we did last time um, but it's still quite a tough day because of the uh, the fact that there's a lot of places where there's no path and um, the ground underfoot is quite tough at times. So it'll be a it'll be a good day. Out. Excellent. And then uh, the weather is looking okay. There's a um, little bit of clouds on the top. Not quite the blue skies that we had for the last one. But hopefully, if it if it stays like this, it'll be fine. Uh, so we're looking forward to our second day on the Dragon's Back recce. So we've uh, left the car where we finished uh, the last recce and we're just heading up this way. So the first climb is up Connect. Connect. Yeah. It's uh, up the road um, and then up quite a good track for a way and then up a sort of grassy coombe without much track and a little rocky ridge to finish. Right. A little bit of cloud on the top, but it looks very pleasant actually. Yeah, it's okay now. Yeah. We'll, uh, but I think we'll just be in the cloud just for the top few hundred feet. Yeah. So, so we've made our way down the uh, down the road from the where we parked the car, and um, bits of climb, bits of flat. So some bits we ran, but that will be quite a nice start to day two, I hope. And then when you get to here, we take a, a left here over the stream through this gate. And we're gonna make our way up the next. So we've headed up the uh, the path and we've gone past one wall and then this is the uh, the second wall up across. Right. Your trace then it might give you yeah. some Top, no. Okay, so we're just heading up there and then the tray seems to take a little bit of a left up to the top. It's all in mist, so it's all a bit of a mystery. This time we were drinking like that. I know. So this is the top of Connect. So that's taken us um, about 1 hour 26 or so. Something like that. Yeah. Taken easy. This, this is the little knoll that we started climbing and we need to head down here. So it looks quite steep to start with. We made our way down from the top of the connector and that was really slippy. It was a lot of loose stones, so uh, we had a few little slips there. I even saw Andy slip once. our way down from the dam and uh, we've got a little bit of view now we've come out the mist and we're making our way down Right, 
right, from the last little video clip, we've made our way on, alongside the, uh, the railway. And he suggests keeping as close as you can and we follow the path over this stile. Is this the last time we crossed the railway yeah. now? Yeah. So we'll cross the railway for the last time. And then we're heading down this way. So it feels a little bit of a respite now because it's um, just fairly flat. So we follow down the road for a little bit and then we're going through this gate. Right, we've made our way up the road, across a field, and we're now into the woods for a mile or two. It started to rain over the last uh, half an hour or so, so we've got our rain jackets on now. So that was a nice run through the forest, and then that's where the next kite will be. The rain's easing off a little bit. I think so, yeah. Making our way over the dam. Well, that was certainly a, an adventurous route, wasn't it, Andy? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's. I think it's probably, as I said earlier, probably the toughest ground underfoot on the whole of the uh, Dragon's Back. Yeah, maybe. and it certainly was, wasn't it? It was very wet and yeah. um, bit, loads of high ferns, and we we had a little uh, a little detour for a little bit, didn't we? <laughs> Navigational glitch. Yeah. Mind you, you can't really see your hand in front of your face today. I oh, know. Yeah. So I didn't do much video over the last hour or two because it was just uh, heads down and trying to get across the ground really. So we've got, um, what you reckon, about three miles to go to the car? About that, something like yeah. that. We're at the uh, stopping point for day two, so we've just got to go up the Roman steps and just yeah. down the other side and I think it's probably a mile and a half. Right. Excellent. And then we're going to, we've earned our supper tonight I think. Yeah. Uh, now five to seven on uh, Sunday the 19th of August and then um, had some breakfast and we're just about to uh, head off for day two so we're going to take the cars to the uh, the finish of day two is at Dorgathley and then we'll drive one car back to the car park where we finished yesterday and then walk up to the route about it's about a mile and a half a bit and then join the route just above the Roman st steps and then uh, Andy reckons we've got about um, 13 miles from there so it's probably about 14 and a half altogether I'm afraid the weather looks pretty similar to yesterday wet and um, a bit misty so it looks as though we're gonna have another wet one and um, so it's a shame I couldn't take so many video clips of the actual routes because it was just so uh, wet and uh, the cloud was so low but anyway it's helped me to see the route and it um, was a right, bit so tough start it, oh sorry oh it's okay okay back at the car park and um, just about to set off for uh, day two but um, just before half eight, and uh, stop when I start in the rain today. It looks quite misty. <laughs> down through 
a good path and uh, we finally got out of the clouds and uh, oh Andy's got his waterproof trousers off and I've got my jacket off first time today yeah and the sun was trying to break through wasn't it yeah so we've got a run through the forest now yeah easy run down through the forest yeah. now and then you're saying there's a fine little sting no, in the tail a little sting in the tail just a little very little climb just yeah. before you get down to the campsite yeah.